everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries. We're here in round five of the hyperspace trials here at White Coast GT here in Vancouver, British Columbia. So we are, we're, we're going down the stack a little bit. I think we got, uh, I think we got our sort of, Oh, uh, is that fifth and sixth place at this point? Because um, everybody else that's on the top cut has already been on stream, and you've already seen all those lists, which is kind of boring. So we're going to bring you something a little bit different. So we've got uh, my good friend on the left here, Mr. Mike Messiah, uh, bringing a list that he calls "Follow the Leader." Uh, and the other side, I have Ryan Longair in uh, a resistance list four ship. So we got a Imperial five ship versus a resistance four ship. Let me go ahead and bring those lists up and we'll get this ready. Okay, here we are with the overlays up. Uh, so Mike Messiah uh, rocking Darth Vader with fire control and afterburners. Howl Runner, Iden Versio with crack shot and a pair of Academy pilots uh, that we like to call P-Chan and C-Chan. And then, uh, there we go, Ryan uh, is rocking Poe Dameron with uh, Heroic R4 Integrated S-Foils in the Black One title. Um, he's got Jess Pava with Just Integrated S-Foils and a pair of Green Squadron Escorts with Crack Shot and Heroic. And I think I see what he's going here. Um, I got a feeling that Jess and the two Green Squadrons are gonna fly together as a, as a block. Uh, and uh, Poe will be their flanker. Sort of similar, this is actually really neat. These are two very similar lists in this case. Um, a little more hit points in uh, the mini swarm section of Ryan's list, uh, but a couple more, like one more ship in the, that same part of Mike's list. Okay, I've uh, given the guys a bit of instruction on how to roll their dice. You know, roll the hits. And timer is go. Couple seconds behind, but we're good. Oh man, second last round of Swiss. This is getting serious. So these guys are still just sorting themselves out. Yeah, I, I, I will freely admit in this match, I have some bias. I really want to see Mike win this one. Um, he's one of our one of our players from Victoria, and uh, I'm pretty proud about uh, where he's gotten to. No, it's true. Hal Runner and Aiden are degenerate scum, and uh, are, hor are horrific. But that's why they're so good. Now, admittedly, Aiden only gets that I rescue from death once, and then never again. So it's, you gotta figure out the right time to do it. Personally, I feel if Howlrunner's gonna take a lethal, you stop that for shit from happening right there. Sorry? I would love one. What? I would love something, thank you. What would you like? Surprise me? There's pretty much nothing, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Ah, uh, nice. So Dan Miner, the organizer, and a incredibly stand-up gentleman, gonna bring me up here. Nothing like beers and X-Wings. And there, oh, there's Mike starting off already. I, I have seen this list fly so many times, I can probably tell you where everything's gonna go, not even looking at it. 
It is. It is a very interesting puzzle to crack. Um, personally, I tend to ignore Vader at first. Um, try to kill Howlrunner Aiden. Force my opponent to spend Aiden's charge as early as possible. Um, because then she's just a generic with happens to have a name. That's, that's some slow rolling for those guys. And you know what? It looks like I guessed right. Uh, got Jess and the two A's moving up. And those RZ2s uh, going to give her up to two rerolls. Uh, and Poe out there flanking. This is going to be really interesting. These are actually two very similar lists uh, that are going to fly slightly differently. Uh, Jess, of course, the Great Destroyer. Going to cause Mike to... Maybe make some second guesses. Although he's got enough flights in this list against various things that I don't think he's going to have a lot of trouble with it. Oh, Vader turning in. Let's see what Poe's all about. Now, personally, if I was flying Poe, um, I'd be pushing the edge of the top edge of the board there, and I'd be turning up right. Uh, Derek, I figured that was what you meant. Uh, that was kind of what we were referring to at the time. So, yeah, that uh, Vader mini swarm is—it is a tough nut to crack. It is—it's very interesting. Uh, it's got a lot of guns. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, nothing like X-Wing and beer. Hey, Sir Toast a lot? Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Um, Mike has a lot of experience flying it. He's thrown a lot of that at me in the last while. And uh, let's just say I... I have a special place in my heart for it in that cold nether region where I keep the things I hate. Okay, not what I thought he'd do with Poe. Oh, I see. He might be trying to flank with him, uh, head up to the top of the board, uh, come around that left side asteroid there. Hmm, interesting. A little bit. Oh, a couple of asteroids, a couple of debris. Uh, looks like what, four asteroids, a piece of debris, and a gas cloud. And it looks like Mike brought a little bit, a little bit of everything. Ryan's got his dials down. Mike taking just a little bit longer. Now, uh, he's got a couple of Academy pilots there. Um, one that we like to call uh, C Chan. He's got a clear base. And then uh, he's got one with a uh, French alt art that we call Pierre. So I'm just going to rename these guys for us. There we go, now we can tell the difference between them. I'm gonna give each of these guys a number here. One and 
to, there we go. All right, that's gonna be a little easier to keep things sorted. <laughs> Mike number two, go Michael, go. Yeah, don't call him Mikey. <laughs> Mike or Michael, he'll let you know. <laughs> all right, so we're already almost 10 minutes in. Hardly anything happening yet. Everybody's still jockeying for position. Mike just showing off his shiny focus tokens that he got. It's kind of funny, they look like little dimes. Okay, and here come the green squad. Looks like all three of those guys are coming up fast. And there's a focus. All uh, right, Jess also doing a bank three. Nice, he left just enough room. Ooh, I thought he bumped for there for a second. Oh, and he's gonna boost it up. Get them just in front. That's nice, that's really nice. That's where you want those guys, just in front of Jess. All right, I see what he's got here. It's a bit of a hammer and anvil. Uh, Poe being the hammer, and uh, Jess and those green squadrons being the anvil to smash him against. Now that said, Mike here's got exactly the same thing, uh, just the Imperial version of it. Vader. Uh, you know what? I believe I believe Mike has one loss. Uh, I believe Ryan is also a single loss. Uh, these guys are currently uh, fifth and sixth, uh, respectively. Just a second, I'm gonna get their actual stats.
Hey guys, I'm back after checking the records here. So it uh, looks like Mike is currently 11th uh, with 993 MOV, three wins, one loss. Uh, Ryan is currently 9th. Um, three wins, one loss with 1,024 MOV. So these two are actually really close. And uh, I know both of them are very good pilots. Yeah, Ma uh, Mariano, I agree. That, that bait and switch by Poe, I did not see that coming. I, I did not expect that. Now, I wonder if Mike saw that coming and is then just going to turn Vader in uh, with the rest of the swarm. Ryan pushing up. Yeah, this is what I figured. This is where Mike is just going to turn his whole squad uh, against those A-wings and Jess. Uh, Jess is probably the scariest part of this entire list. And so if he can remove Jess from the board, that is a substantial amount of damage that he's going to reduce against the rest of his list. Yeah, I, I agree with both of you guys. Good move from, from him not to overcommit Vader. Uh, Mike's learned that the hard way. He's played against me with Fen Rao a lot, and he knows that I will try to make him commit and make him make a mistake, and so he knows when not to. Afterburners, here it comes. Yep. This is a perfect time to use that. And now he still gets his regular action. So he's going to reacquire a target lock. Taking his locks. There you go. On Jess. Yep. I wonder if he's spending one of his charges. He's thinking about it. He is going to spend a force charge to take another action. And he's going to focus up. There you go. Target lock focus. That's going to be great. And I got a feeling he's going to pour everything he possibly can into that ship. So just for clarity's sake, uh, Green Squadron Expert number one is the one on top. Green Squadron Expert number two is the one on the bottom. All right, Vader. Oh, hold on. Was that what just happened, the boost slam? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, guys, can you boost and then slam? I think that's what just happened. Uh, I got a judge looking at it. Judge! <laughs> All right, we got a judge checking it out here with uh, Oh, I think we're going to get a state rewind here.
All right, they're just discussing what to do. It looks like they are now rolling that back. Hey, Mike, somebody scoop the dice, please. All right, there we go. We're just getting that clear. So there was the slam. Or sorry, that was the that was taking the slam back. There we go. That's a little better. I didn't think that looked quite right. Thank you guys for keeping us honest. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit too much. No worries, no worries. I, I, I saw it and I was like, did that just happen? And then the chat was like, can't do that. <laughs> well, in this case, they just let him ro roll back the uh, slam and let him commit to the boost only. It's kind of a lost opportunity in this case. Oof. That's two from Poe. Vader's like, mm, yeah, I got this. Turns it up for two. I don't think there's been any damage dealt yet. Just gonna go double check. Okay, so it looks like just took one earlier. And there's the one turn up. And now the TIE Fighters start. Spend the focus for two. And there's one. So that's one more on Jess. Next TIE Fighter. Oh, wait. Nope, that's right, sorry. It's into the green squadrons now. There you go, fix that shit. So range one in bullseye. That's terrible. But closest to closest would be obstructed in this case as well. I think they're having a discussion on instruction there. They're just discussing. All right, A-Wing. Looks like one crit. He's gonna spend the focus for a hit crit. Oof. And taking the hit crit. Uh, console fire. That looks like it's on C-Chan. Next is that other green. Looks like he is also shooting at C-Chan. And we got a focus and a crit, so hit crit again. And two of eight. <laughs> and he's checking for bullseye. And so he cracked that, did he? 
And direct hit into him. Oh, oh no, that was Pierre. Ho oh. ho! But he ain't dead yet. Which means that if he ain't dead, he's still a menace. He's still a problem. And so gonna reroll one of those with Hells. No, no. Oh no, that's Jessica shooting. Okay. Console fire, and he's dead. Wow, that console fire did not treat him good. Oh! <laughs> Except that he used Iden to cancel the console fire hit. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Now he's got Iden with a crack shot, two hits. Uh, zero, so that's two more into Jess. That is shields down on Jess, whoops. And one hull, right? Or not. Oh yeah, it is one hole. Oh, that was the other shot, okay. I got it right, yay! Ooh, Jess is at a bad spot. All right, we got P Chan and C Chan up front there. Pierre and Blocker Chan. Invaders dialed in. I wonder where Poe's got uh, this turn. Okay, dial's all going down. Nobody dead yet. It was a close one, but nobody dead quite yet. Uh, wow, it looks like Mike is actually ahead by just a bit. It's gonna be hard to keep that margin though. A lot of thought going on here. I got a feeling that Poe is gonna come pretty much straight down the board. Ooh, although he's got that debris in the way. No, he's banking. He's gonna bank and probably boost. Vader ain't got no K turn because he's stressed, but he does have a lovely ability to just turn in and wreck something. Um, but he. He can't get too aggressive against the A's and the X. You think Vader two bank or uh, you're talking, um, sorry, um, Pope two bank? Oh, you think a one bank with Vader? Yeah, it would, it would be foolish to push him in too hard. Uh, and a one bank with Vader, yeah, that might get him in such a place that Poe just can't get in and hit him. Or instead, Poe just might get in and actually hit him. All right. He's just GTFO with that guy. Get them blockers out.
And then a bump from the other. Right into there. Oh, nudged all the other ships. Man, how many hands does it take? 27, that's how many. And then he's gonna template it out of the way so that uh, Ryan can get his A passed. Okay, so he's obviously rotating arc, which is gonna be his linked action. And then, yeah, so focus, link, rotate. There we go. Another A wing pushing up. Oh, and there it is, bumped. No rotate for that guy. It was a little too fast. Jess, forward four. Looks like that's also going to be a bump into the back of the A wing. Yep. And there she is, so. Still packing that uh, target lock from Vader. Wow, what a mess. Forty-five minutes left in this second to final round of Swiss. This is that round where men become boys and girls become women. Or I should say, boys become men. That's the word I was looking for. Back in my brain was like, uh, Glenn, you fucked that up. And Poe. Cutting in hard, not really. So that was melee. Taking a target lock on Vader. Vader don't care. And then he's gonna pull the limit for a focus. Okay, so Vader still got a shot on. Yeah, definitely got a shot there. Looks like range two. Oof. And he's just gonna spend a force to turn that up. And then fire, uh, sorry, the uh, advanced targeting computer on there turns it into two crits and a hit. Ooh! And he attempts to the re does the uh, reroll. Loose stabilizer. Direct hit! Oh! Goodbye, Jess. We hardly knew you. Okay, and then Poe taking a shot on Vader. He's got three dice. Vader's got three. Yeah, that was that was painful. That's a big chunk of his damage potential gone. And Mike's gonna turn up, and looks like he takes a shield on Vader which also regenerates one of his force charges. Um, 
A wing shooting, two dice. Out his butt. And it looks like that is going into probably Aiden at this point. He does have hate. He should have turned. Uh, should have turned one of those up from the look of it. I'm not sure if he has. That is a missed opportunity, though. I'm not going to remind him. It is a may, not a must. Oh wait, he does not have hate. Uh, the previous version of this list did that I uh, am used to facing. He does not have hate. You're right. Fire control afterburners. Oof. Aiden is dead. Oh, that's not Aiden. That's Pierre. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, Pierre. I'm sorry, bud. Yeah. No, Mariano. I made a mis I made a mistake. Like always. <laughs> Wow, two green squadrons with heroic crack shot and Poe versus a full health Vader still, Pal Runner, Aiden, and at least one more Academy. This is still anybody's game. I mean, Mike's ahead a little bit because Jess was worth way more points. But Ryan only has to get one more hit into C Chan, who's got that console fire. Let's see, did he did C Chan turn that down? He did. And he's going to take an evade. All right. A wings just slow rolling as much as they're capable of it. That's not what I'd have done. I'd have started turning those suckers around, but that's just me. Oh man, Mariano, there's there's no comparison. You should have both. <laughs> um, I don't think you necessarily need fire control system. Afterburners hate on Vader, and you're good. That's that's just my opinion. It's probably wrong. I personally have found that when you put hate on Vader, uh, people will avoid shooting at him. They'll tend to go after the rest of your mini swarm which that's fine, that's what they're there for, um, to deal damage and distract from Vader. And they're all turning up on Poe. Poe is not long for this world at this rate. Vader doing a, is that a hard turn or is he talon rolling? Oh, it's a hard turn. Oh, no, Mike almost scooped the wrong one there. Whoopsie. It's been a long day. So Vader's going after them A-Wings, I think. Target locking. Spending a force charge for a focus. And Poe's pushing in. He's gonna take some shots. Oh, wow. Oh, target lock and then toe the limit for a focus. So Vader, range two. That's going to be on A-wing number two.
Oof. So he's probably going to spend that target lock on those two. Yeah. Uh, not much better, but better than nothing altogether. Ah, <laughs> natties. God damn it. <laughs> So hit focus. I'm gonna re-roll with Howl Runner and spend the focus for three. Oh no, sorry, that was uh, Poe. Poe, my bad. Spend the target lock and then the focus. That was going into. I assume that's Howls. Spend it. And one. Oh, that was Aiden. Ooh, Aiden's got a crack on him. Mm. There's Howells. And she's gonna focus up for two. Poe's gonna bust out two. And then Aiden. Oh, that's right, because she had spent that focus already for her uh, defense. Come on, Aiden. And, oh, betrayal. And now he's seeing if they're close enough. They are not. And whatever, yeah, you have to roll anyway, so. All right, and then A-Wings pushing on Vader. One hit. Uh, Vader busts out Nats. The other A-wing, hit crit. And Fark, and again, Nat. And then finally we got uh, C-Chan there. No, no shot. So now we sweep and set. Yeah, you know, flying is only half the game, right? The other half is uh, list building and dice. Well, I guess that makes it a third of the game. Because, you know, I can math. Mm. I'm interested to see what he's going to do with those A-wings. Ryan could turn them around. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I, ca I kind of agree. Uh, Lulo and Neen are top tier resistance pilots. And if I was bringing a resistance list, it would probably be Poe, Neen, Num, and Lulo. Triple aces ruin everyone's day. Because Lulo is an A wing while he's not stressed, but then he becomes a T 70 when he is stressed. He's like a frickin' transformer. Interested to see where Aiden's gonna go. Poe po has a limited number of maneuvers still. He's got more because of that uh, uh, R4 astromech giving him a couple more blues. But it still, it still doesn't give him a lot of places to go. All right, here comes Blocker Chan. Yeah, bringing those guns to bear. Yeah, and he's just slow rolling those A-wings. Well, okay, mid-rolling those A-wings. Because, you know, you can't slow roll. Uh, and a boost. And then he's gonna, oh, okay, focus link boost. Yeah, I know, I 100% agree, 100% agree. And instead of the Green Squadron es uh, expert, I'd have done probably the Blue Squadron recruit uh, and tried to fit Lulo in there. Although Lulo is, like, he's expensive, but he's still pretty cheap for what you get.
And uh, looks like Howells now coming up. Oh. A little bit of Geek Tech cheat early, cheat often happening there. I mean, he, he's played with us for so long now that it's kind of ingrained into him. Sorry. <laughs> ah, yes. Here comes Vader's Talon roll. I can feel it. Oh, no, just a turn. Screw them. Make your own meta. Make your own meta. People were like, Fat Hand is terrible. And then Fat Hand started winning at tournament. And now there's egg all over people's face. <laughs> now that said, that Fat Hand is like, it's combo wing meta, it's bad. It's, it's de de degenerate bull crap. It's also hella fun to fly. <laughs> Poe, I think I saw a straight two there. Yeah, oh, <laughs> right where he wants you, buddy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That's rotisserie Poe coming right up on a stick. Oh, and now he's going to slam. Yeah, he's getting the hell out. Boom. He's going to push up. He's going to take that extra stress. Slam Venulink. There you go. Ion, stress, focus, charge spent. There you go. Oh, man. Poe is not. Oh, it's Rage 2? Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my God. And spends the target. Wait, where was the reroll from? Where's Poe's target lock? Oh, heroic, never mind. Never mind, heroic. Vader, turn up for one, for two. So that is a shield down on Mr. Veda. Ooh, there's one. And then he's going to try with... So his A-wings don't have a shot. So we got C-Chan. Whoops. C-Chan rolling a couple of dice at Poe. Come on, buddy. Pal runner there to give him some backup. Into... Well, he doesn't even need it. Two hits. And Poe just natties it out. Yeah, Natty's all over the place, man. Now those A-wings, we got just under half an hour left. Mike still got it by mm, roughly 17-ish points. It's not a large margin right now. Oh man, Raven, I'm with you, buddy. Um, find your own way, find your own way. You know, base off the meta, sure, but then make some changes so that people don't necessarily know what you're flying. Of course, make sure that you know what you're flying.
Okay, dials are down. Poe is going, everybody knows where Poe's going. He's going where everybody knows his name. And yep, just focus up, you're gonna have a clear shot. A-wing, hard turn two. Getting around, clearing stress. And then he's gonna link to rotate. Oh, that's stiff. Uh, I found that people tend to put those on the wrong way. There, there is a better way to put them on than uh, the way most people do. That makes them turn easier. We'll, ha we'll talk about that on, uh, on another Geek Tech stream sometime. Thanks, bud. Right? Acrylics. All about them acrylics. Nice. Yet another reason to buy your stuff from District Foundry. Plug, 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 plug. <laughs> Go check them out. They're on Etsy. They make some amazing stuff. Easily in the same category or better than uh, curl paw and the like. And Vader K turning. He's still packing that Tarje. He's got some force though, so he's okay. So wait, uh, holy geez, how do you say? It? So, Doctor, uh, are you saying they spin like a top? Are you saying that they got, like, spinners like uh, them fancy hubcaps? Because that'd be cool. My acrylics have spinners. <laughs> and there he goes, taking his stress. The only action he gets is a focus. He doesn't get to link. Honestly, I feel like Poe's kind of lost it here. He's in a real bad spot. Oh, range two to Vader even. Oof. Two, yeah, three hits and advanced targeting computer turns it up. Oh, Poe's got a choice. Is he going to spend that focus? He is not. And taken one to the hull. Oh, fuel leak. And we have, I'm gonna say that's a range two. Yep, range two from Howells here, I think. Well, I'm gonna find out in a second. I agree, he should have taken the no shot instead of the ion, but sometimes you get greedy. Oh yeah, that's range one, oh my God. Mm. Hit, hit, crit, that's a dead Poe coming. Yep, hit, crit, done. I can feel it already. And then the crit's gonna trigger the fuel leak. Disable power adapter and the X1 and he's dead. Or disable power regulator, there we go. Whew. Yeah, some, sometimes it's hard because you get a little greedy with Poe. And so A-Wing's shooting. 
Vader's like, please, you got nothing. He's gonna roll three dice, he's gonna shrug it all off, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, right? You got it, Doc. And yep, turns up for two. Spending a force charge, there it is. He's got to bring this home with two A-wings against a huh, full health hell runner, a more than half Vader, and uh, Blocker Chan there, eh? And Aiden's there, just uh, higher on the PS stack, or sorry, initiative stack. Ugh, bad habits. Thinking hard, thinking hard here. There we go, one more dial to go. I think next year I might have to set up a table mic. <laughs> All right, so C-Chan, oh, is he gonna avoid the rock? Ooh, 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 that was tight! Wow, I thought he might end up on the rock there. You got it, C-Chan. You got it, bro. Yeah, A-Wing's coming in. I'm honestly not sure how Bun's game is going. I can't see it from here. Andrew Bun. I think they're right there. No, no, the next one. I think Bun's on that table. Oh, we'll let you know. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Ray. Uh, something I can, something I can mute. They're still just jockeying now. Wow, it sounds like they're still just jockeying for position. There's hardly any damage dealt. It's gonna be a low margin game. There's a lot of amazing plays happening, man. I, I wish I could actually stream more than one event at a time here, because there are so many great games to show off. And yes, Ray, I totally agree. Um, having a table mic at the table would be great, as long as I can mute it. <laughs> Man, he is getting aggressive on those A's. Here's he... 
I think uh, I think Mike has realized that he needs the margin right now to get himself bumped into top eight. Because I think if he wins and gets a good margin on this, um, he might he he might just end up uh, in that top eight. Which I'm pretty proud to see at least three other uh, members of our island uh, contingent from uh, Vancouver Island in, in that top eight so far. Uh, really proud. Uh, no, I think we have, still have one last round of Swiss. So we're going till uh, about 8.30 tonight. 8.39ish. We're going to take a, probably about a 15 minute, 10, 15 minute break after this. And then uh, push it up from there. Ooh, looks like Bun might have won. Hold on, hold on, I'm just going to go catch up on that. Ooh, just a minute. Shots, 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 shots. Not there. Hey, Bun, how'd you do? Ah, uh, he's busy. <laughs> uh, we'll be starting tomorrow around 9 o'clock again, uh, Pacific time. Uh, early afternoon-ish for the finals. <laughs> what do we got here? I think I need to catch up on these A-wings. Oof. Yeah, heroic. Thank you. <laughs> uh, ooh. I'm gonna spend the focus to turn up into three. And then he's got, looks like he's taking that nice range one from the next one here. Oh yeah. Oh, just the one. When you need a focus, it's never there. And there's the one. All right, and then C Chan is not facing the right way, so sweep and set there. Just give me a second, I'm gonna make sure I got my overlay caught up. All right, so that one A-wing has taken two. I missed it. I missed calling time. I've been distracted. Which has got Mike up to 143. Wow. He's gonna he's gonna make this margin. He's I feel like he's gonna push himself into top eight with us. Now that I've said that, I've cursed him and he's going to fail utterly. Got just over 10 minutes left, 11 and a half ish.
Man, things are getting tight here. Those Ewings are in a bad spot. Yeah, she basically doesn't even turn. Vader's just K turning out. And Mike can take his time at this point. Uh, Ryan is the one that's going to have to really push uh, to get that margin back. Out of range. So he is going to get a Tarje on that other one, though. Oh, he's taking the shot instead. Uh, one hit. And, oh, the evade he needs. And then he's got Howls, range one. Oh, he's going after the other, the other undamaged one. Or the other damaged one, I should say. Three dice into that poor bastard right there. Yeah, re-roll for herself. Oh! Oh, hit crit. Oh, and, and panicked pilot, and he's down. I didn't quite see the other one, but at this point, it don't matter. All right, and that's him shooting at Howells, two dice, or two hits, I should say. Howells gonna roll two evades, very nice. And then we got C-Chan, outside range one of Howell Runner. Gonna roll three dice at that last guy, two hits. Three of eights, Natty's for the win. Sweep and set, we got about seven and a half minutes left in this round. Ryan has a hell of a fight ahead of him if he wants to get any sort of margin back. Mike set his dials down. Looks like we are ready for this. Six minutes left in the round. <laughs> Mike just trying to hem in that poor little A-wing. He is just gonna get torn up. I don't think he has any idea how bad this is gonna be. <laughs> Grab the wrong chip. There we go, put him back. 
Wow, definitely some Geek Tech cheer, early cheat off in there. And K turning out. Put it anywhere, he says. Are, are you sure, Patrick? <laughs> Careful what you ask for, bud. All right, there is the call. Five minute warning. Yeah, it's true. It's been a long damn day. And uh, we still have one more round to go. Oh my God, I've, I swear we're gonna see somebody collapse on a table here in a minute. And it's probably gonna be me. <laughs> All right, there we go, A-Wing. Getting shot at, but damn! Reroll with Hells. Hits, a pair of them. And, oh! There's the last one he needed. Uh, he takes one. Did he take one? Maybe not. Oh, A-wing back, two dice. Mike's got four. Oh, and three in this case is going for C-chan. Oh no, C-chan! Well, at least but uh, got some more margin back. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Ryan. Fighting it hard. See if you can kill off one more ship within these next three and a half minutes. <laughs> Only a chance! Now I'm gonna have to make like Anime Girl inspired alt arts. Th thanks, Patrick. You've inspired me. I'm just gonna steal art from the uh, Lost Stars manga. Because that's where you get characters like Sienna Ree and uh, a bunch of different uh, TIE fighter pilots. Man, that poor little A-Wing, he is just so boned. He's trying to get out. Wow, he's so messed up, he's knocking his numbers off right now. <laughs> All right. So it looks like he is going to action link rotate. But what was his action? Probably focus in this case. Oh no, barrel roll link rotate. What am I thinking? There we go, get that out of the way so you can get Iden passed. minute and a bit left. Mike knows that he can play conservative and still win this. Ryan just trying to stay alive. Keep that last bit of margin there. That 39 points of margin from getting down the tubes. Thanks, Mariano. Hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for the uh, some of the cut rounds tomorrow. We'll be starting around 9.30 or 9, 9.30 uh, Pacific time. Yeah. 
Ooh, here it comes. Vader about to just lay the smack. You can feel the quivering hand about to smack him in the head. And Vader, <laughs> focus up and turn it up. Crit, crit hit. Oh! Heroic. Heroic procs. Heroic! Uh, nope, and that's it. What a game. Oh my goodness. That guy had one hit point left. And there it is. Ooh, and Mr. Mike Messiah with 179 to 46. What a great match. It was anybody's game at the start there, but it really quickly turned once Poe went down. All right, guys, we're gonna take a short 15 minute break, uh, and then we'll be back with the last round of Swiss today. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll be back in the morning with uh, Top Cut. So uh, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll be back in just a little bit. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below. Uh, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash geektechindustries. And we'll see you guys here on the mat.